Welcome to the celebrated High Achievers Mentorship Program, CHAMP. We are bringing academic dreams to reality. So in this video, we will be discussing solubility. For ease of learning, our topic, the topic solubility has been divided into four uh, to five subheadings. So we'll be treating the solubility of substances, calculation involved, then the calculations involving water of crystallization, the calculation involving solubility product, the calculation involving solubility graphs, then we take miscellaneous questions on solubility uh, before we round up this video. Yes, so we'll be treating all past questions that have ever been asked on solubility. So you sit back, get a book and a pen, try to follow as we go, as we dissolve the topic solubility. I'll be taking the first two subtopics in this video and the last three in the next video. Yes, just subscribe, then follow on as we start the lesson. Oh yes, the first sub uh, heading, solubility of substances. Yeah, what solubility? Solubility deals with the uh, the solution. Yes, how well a substance, a solute can dissolve in solution. This is just a class to treat the calculation aspect. So I won't be going into detail. I will just give you the formula, how to solve the equations. Then we will treat every possible jam questions on the topic solubility. So let's go. Now, solubility can be in gram per dm cube. And also, it can be in what? In mole per dm cube. So, any of them, it can be in gram per dm cube and it can be in mole per dm cube. Yeah, if it's in gram per dm cube, all you have to do, let me just give you the formula. Now, if you check these two for um, these two very well, you will know that this is the same as the unit of your yeah concentration so this is what mass concentration which is equals to what mass over what over molar mass and this is the same thing as what molar concentration which is the same thing as what mole over what over
the unit for this, this is the mass concentration which is what mass over volume mass over volume and this is what molar concentration which is what mole over what over volume over volume now one thing that you need to note is that your volume always be must always be in what in dm cube your volume must always be in dm cube yes so if your volume is given in centimeter cube like most jump questions will give you and you have to convert it to dm cube that means you will do what you will divide by 1000 so 5 cm cube will give you what 5 over 1000 dm cube do you get it now the same thing for 100 cm cube 100 cm cube will give you what 100 over 1000 dm cube yeah that's just the basic thing and you already know that this your mole is the same thing as what mass over molar mass So I can go on to say that my molar concentration is equal to what's our mole? Mass over molar mass. So I can say mass over molar mass divided by what? Divided by my volume. So if my volume is in centimeter cube, I do what? I divide by 1000. But if it's in DM cube already, I just leave it. Yes, so this formula can be used to calculate the solubility of what of substances. So now that I'm done with the basic explanations, we'll take uh, we'll begin to treat all the past questions that can be asked on the solubility of substances now. So here is a jam question, jam 1981 question 36. Five centimeter cube of a saturated solution of sodium chloride at 30 degrees Celsius gives 1.95 gram of the solid salt the solution of NaCl at 30 degrees Celsius is so let's solve it together you are giving the volume 5 centimeter cube and you are giving the mass 1.95 gram and you are giving that substance sodium chloride so your volume is what your volume is 5 centimeter cube so you take it to dm cube so you are going to have what 5 over 1000 dm cube i hope you are following what's this your mass mass is equals to 1.95 gram and this is your what nacl what's the molar mass of nacl that is what 23 plus 35.5 that's what 58.85 uh, 58.5 gram per mole they should give you the values of your molar mass in the equation but even if they did not give you like in this case you can uh, know it yes so let's go what's the formula for concentration or the solubility so solubility is equals to what's your mass 1.95 yes let me write the formula first like we've been told mass over molar mass divided by what divided by the volume what's your mass our mass is what 1.95 what's our molar mass our molar mass is what 58.5 divided by what's our volume our volume is 5 over 1000 so you move on 1.95 over 58.5 this one we change to multiplication then you invert it 1000 over 5 so 5 in 100 1000 you have what that's 200 zero, zero. multiply 1.95 times 200 you have what 390 divided by 58.5 divide both side uh, divide 390 by 58.5 we're going to have what 6.67 mole per dm cube so this is your final answer.
And here we have our next question, jam 1982, question 29. 9.8 gram of solid potassium trioxochlorate 5 was added to 40 centimeter cube water and heated to dissolve all the solid. As the solution cooled, crystals of KClO3 started forming. Then the solubility of KClO3 is therefore, this is as simple as ever. What's the first thing you've been given your mass? You've been given your volume? And you know that it's KClO3. So let's solve. Your mass is what? 9.8 gram. Your volume is what? 40 centimeter cube. Then you have KClO3. Try finding the molar mass. You can pause this video and try solving everything on your own. Then you compare your answer. So you have 39 plus 35.5. Plus 16 times 3, that's what 48. So, adding all these ones together, you have what? 122.5. So, this is your molar mass. Now, go to the question straight away. You have solubility is equals to mass over molar mass, which is your mole, divided by volume. Yes, you know that this volume you can't use it straight. You have to do what? Divide by 1000 to get to your what? Your dm cube. So what's your mass? Your mass is what? 9.8. What's your molar mass? Your molar mass is what? 122.5 divided by 40 over 1000. So you have 9.8 over 122.5 times 1000 divided by 40 so here you can cancel it out then you can have something like if you multiply this one you are going to have 980 then 122.5 times 4 so that gives you 490 so if you divide you are going to have what 2.0 mole per dm cube this is your final answer, option E. So you really want to try this next one. I will write a question, then, then you try it on your own, just pause it, then you check the solution afterwards. Let's and here we have our next question. 3.06 gram of a sample of KClO3 was required to make a saturated solution with 10 centimeter cube of water at 25 degrees Celsius. The solubility of the salt at 25 degrees Celsius is? Yeah, so I will give you some, just pause the video, try the, it on your own, then compare your answer to the uh, solution that will be provided. Okay, yes, let's solve it together now. So what is it this? This is 3.06 gram. This is your mass. Then you have your volume, and this from here you get your molar mass. So let's go. Solubility is equal to mass over molar mass divided by volume. What's your mass? 3.06. Your molar mass, KClO3, if you do it very well, you have 39 plus 35.5. Plus oxygen is what 16 16 times 3 that's what 48 adding it up you are going to have what 122.5 so mass over molar mass divided by what's your volume 10 over 1000 so if you solve the questions very well you are going to have let me just finish it up 122.5 times 1000 over 10 so you have 3 OCs over 122.5. If you press this in your calculator, you are going to have what? 2.5 mole per dm cube. I hope you understand how we got that. So you are the one that will try this next question again.